Hey, when she sees what Trump did to her last night. So maybe you all have heard about Hillary Clinton's new book What Happened where she tries to figure out why she is not president. Yeah, I think we all know the answer to that. Well, late last night President Trump decided to have some fun with Hillary by sharing out a picture from one of his fans that puts her in her place. That's right, Hillary Clinton. The answer to what happened? Is indeed Trump happened. However, it was not Donald Trump alone that beat Hillary. It was the whole Trump train who voted him in when the media said it was impossible. I'm sure in Hillary's version, Putin teams up with a group of space aliens to mind control Macedonians to trick Americans into hacking voting machines to rig the dot hum dot dot yeah, it's stum is the point. Maybe this is an opportunity for us to give Hillary Clinton the reality check she desperately seems to need. Help share this everywhere and let her know Trump is why. They did it North Korea just detonated the secret weapon everyone hoped was fake. If it was not already bad enough that Kim Jong-un has nukes and intercontinental ballistic missiles, now you can add one more devastating weapon to his arsenal. It had been rumored earlier that North Korea was finalizing a new nuclear bomb that would put all their old bombs to shame. Well, it just happened. North Korea just detonated their new hydrogen bomb. The new bomb registered in a magnitude 6.1 earthquake and is said to be 10x as powerful as the last bomb they tested. Kim also used this as an opportunity to show off his new ranged missiles and their compatibility with his nuclear bombs when he loaded the new hydrogen bomb successfully into one of his long-ranged missiles. North Korea used this particular bomb as a big military propaganda piece as well. They even had a signing ceremony for Kim Jong-un. KCNA Look, folks. It's sure fun to make fun of North Korea and their leader. However, this is a very serious situation. Kim Jong-un now has the power to wipe a major city like San Francisco off the map in a single blow. We need to stay vigilant and be ready for anything that may come our way. God bless you all. Heaven sent this text and just walked up to Trump and suddenly a miracle happened. President Trump and Melania visited Houston on Saturday to visit with Hurricane Harvey victims and survey the relief effort on the ground. During his meet and greet with those affected by the storm, he met one grateful supporter that showed just how much his visit meant to him and other Texans in need. As the president finished taking pictures, the man comes up to him, shakes his hand, and says something incredible. We looked out the window to see if an ark was coming down the street. It didn't come. But you guys did and that's what counts. Check out that awesome moment here. This man's words show just how impactful the president was during his visit to Texas, no matter what else the media tries to say. President Trump is changing lives in Texas share it loud, and share it proud, patriots. Amen when Trump visited Texas church, one churchgoer said something that would bring tears to his eyes. President Trump has been doing great things for the people of Texas in the wake of Hurricane Harvey, both by leading the federal government's response to the disaster from the White House, and by getting hands-on and helping those in need personally. On Saturday the President and First Lady touched down in Houston and got to work at NRG Stadium which is being used as a hurricane shelter. The Trumps got to talk to the victims of the hurricane, play with and comfort children, and help volunteers serve lunch. President Trump then made his way to the First Church of Perland, where he gave a speech to volunteers and storm victims, praising the relief effort and giving hope that things in Houston return to normal quickly. Elaine Barra, a volunteer and churchgoer who was waiting to see President Trump at Perland, had some beautiful words to say about the president's visit. It's quite humbling to have somebody of his stature come to this church. Him being here and bringing global attention to everything that's going on here, he brings us prayers from around the world. It's so nice to hear people say good things about the president. Too bad the mainstream media never gets around to reporting it. 
I bet if the president heard it, he would smile. Let's get it out to him by sharing this 5,000 times. H.T. Washington Examiner, Texas Tribune Undeterred Melania Trump mocks her critics with this ingenious move. I now love our FLOTUS more than ever, ya yeah, ll. On the POTUS and FLOTUS first trip to visit Texas in the aftermath of Hurricane Harvey, the media went overboard, criticizing and ridiculing her choice of footwear. Courtesy of Inside Edition via YouTube.com I mean, it would have been almost impossible to have missed how the media tore into our lovely first lady. Well, she gave it right back to them, on their return to Texas early Saturday. Courtesy of USA Today via YouTube.com That s right, yeah ll she wore stilettos again. This time, snake skin. She got support on Twitter, too. Basically, she said f you, media. Kind of like her husband, I d say. If you love it and her, please help get this shared around the world. Let us show our support of this strong couple. H. T. The Hill President Trump left Texas and put out a video that will warm every American's heart. Y'all, Texas has had a rough week after Hurricane Harvey. President Trump and Melania visited again on Sunday to meet victims of the storm and help provide relief from the devastation. The President and First Lady met took pictures, gave hugs, played with children, and helped serve lunch to those affected by the storm. After he left Texas, the President tweeted out this awesome compilation of his work there you can see for yourself the incredible effect he had on the victims and heroes of this terrible storm. Astounding! President Trump truly is the people's president. It is sometimes in times of tragedy when the camaraderie, bravery, and unity of the American people come out and President Trump definitely helped show that. Share this nice video out so everyone can see the strength of the American spirit. Obama's outgoing letter to Trump has just been released and it has surprising. Right before he left the White House, President Barack Obama left a letter for President Trump in the top drawer of the Oval Office's Resolute Desk. Despite their political differences, President Trump spoke highly of the letter in the week after taking office, saying, It was long. It was complex. It was thoughtful, and it took time to do it, and I appreciated it. Now the letter has finally been made available to the public, CNN reports. Here it is in its entirety. Dear Mr. President, Congratulations on a remarkable run. Millions have placed their hopes in you, and all of us, regardless of party, should hope for expanded prosperity and security during your tenure. This is a unique office, without a clear blueprint for success, so I don't know that any advice from me will be particularly helpful. Still, let me offer a few reflections from the past eight years. First, we've both been blessed, in different ways, with great good fortune. Not everyone is so lucky. It's up to us to do everything we can, to, build more ladders of success for every child and family that's willing to work hard. Second, American leadership in this world really is indispensable. It's up to us, through action and example to sustain the international order that has expanded steadily since the end of the Cold War, and upon which our own wealth and safety depend. Third, we are just temporary occupants of this office. That makes us guardians of those democratic institutions and traditions like rule of law, separation of powers, equal protection and civil liberties that our forebears fought and bled for. Regardless of the push and pull of daily politics, it's up to us to leave those instruments of our democracy at least as strong as we found them. And finally, take time, in the rush of events and responsibilities, for friends and family. They ll get you through the inevitable rough patches. Michelle and I wish you and Melania the very best as you embark on this great adventure, and know that we stand ready to help in any ways which we can. Good luck and Godspeed.
though. Wow! I have to admit, I think this time Obama did the right thing. It is a lovely letter, with good advice that the president seems to have taken to heart. Presidents have been writing letters to their replacements since George H. W. Bush, and Obama's letter to President Trump, a topic of much curiosity, has never been revealed until now. Hi CNN.